Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving an interesting polynomial system with two variables. We have x squared plus y squared equals 6 and x cubed plus y cubed is equal to 14. Obviously at this point you can pause the video and make some guesses and I'm pretty sure you found some obvious solutions. But we're also going to be taking a look at some of the not so obvious solutions. We're also going to be looking at the result from Wolfram Alpha. I'm just going to tell you what the uh, solutions that I got from there. Okay, and I'll be presenting two methods. Let's start with the first one. And almost as always, my first method is going to be a little bit more painful. Okay, so here's what I can do. I can go ahead and isolate y squared from the first equation. So I can subtract x squared from both sides. y squared can be written as 6 minus x squared. And from the second equation, I can actually go ahead and isolate y cubed. Or you could do the following. You can square root both sides. It's going to come with a plus minus sign. And then you can go ahead and substitute this into the second equation, right? And that should give you a nice equation, but then you have to simplify it by squaring both sides, so on and so forth. So instead of doing this, this ugly, radical, crazy substitution, let's go ahead and do it this way. So we isolated y squared from the first equation. Let's go ahead and isolate y cubed from the second one. y cubed is 14 minus x cubed. Now, how am I going to work with this? I have y squared and y cubed. So why not, okay? Why not cube both sides here and square both sides here? It's like, why not, right? Okay, so then you'll be getting y to the 6th power from here and y to the 6th power from here. And guess what? They're equal. Therefore, these two things are also equal because if two things are equal to the same thing, then they're equal, right? I hope that makes sense. So in other words, to keep a long story short, 6 minus x squared cubed equals 14 minus x cubed squared. Awesome. Well, not so awesome. You'll see in a little bit it's not that awesome. But let's go ahead and continue. So now I'm going to go ahead and expand it. We're going to get x to the 6th power on both sides, right? But the thing is they're not going to cancel out because this one is going to give us a negative x to the 6th power. You see that? You thought that were gonna, they were going to cancel out, right? No luck. Okay. But anyways, to keep a long story short, again, I'm going to save you some time and give you the hexic equation that results from expanding and, you know, collecting like terms and so on and so forth. x to the 6th power minus 9x to the 4th power minus 14x to the 3rd power. Oh, man, if you didn't have an x cubed, then we could kind of turn it into a bi, you know, quadratic or bi cubic, whatever, something like that. But that's not the case. Anyways, this is a hexic equation and it looks horrible, <laughs> right? Well, sort of. You could definitely try rational root theorem because if there are rational solutions, they should show up. And then that way we can reduce the problem. But again, it's hexic, so we don't even have a formula for the quintic. That would be really nice, by the way. But it's impossible. So we're just going to have to consult Wolfram Alpha. And Wolfram Alpha gives us the following. I'm not going to give you a screenshot. I'll just write down all the solutions that I got from there. And Wolfram Alpha gives us x equals 1 minus root 2, 1 plus root 2, and then negative 1 plus square root of 15, plus minus the square root of 2 root 15 minus 14. I mean 4, not 14. That should be a 4. All over... <laughs> Those are the real solutions, and there are non-real complex solutions. And they also contain, interestingly, square root of 15. That just seems to be popping up a few times in this expression. And that's going to be the following. And of course, this is non-real, so we're going to have to have an imaginary part. Do you like them? Okay, whatever. Please let me know what you think about these solutions. They are the result of, of course, computers can be used for these kinds of equations, but if you are doing a math competition or math olympiad and you had to solve this problem, you would probably use rational root theorem. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. Second method. 
We already know the solutions, right? So here's our second method. Uh, let me rewrite the original problem. x squared plus y squared equals 6. x cubed plus y cubed equals 14. And I'm pretty sure there are other ways to solve this problem, especially if you can guess and check some of the solutions, you could probably reduce it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use symmetric functions here. Uh, in other words, I'm going to write the first equation as, which is this one, by the way, this is my second. The first equation as x plus y squared minus 2xy. As you know, if you expand x plus y squared, you're going to get uh, x squared plus y squared plus 2xy, and 2xy is going to cancel out, and you're going to end up with this. From the second equation, you know that uh, we use the cubic formula a few times, well, maybe quite a few times, and uh, there's an identity that we use all the time. It's x plus y cubed minus 3xy times x plus y. That is equivalent to x cubed plus y cubed. And remember, we set it equal to that. And then this is going to be our constant. And we set x plus y equal to z or whatever. And then we just solve the cubic for, um, equation that way. That is basically the, the essence of the cubic formula. But this time, it's equal to 14. So we have ourselves a nice system. Why do I call it a nice system? Because if you make a substitution, obviously, substitution is always awesome. Set x plus y equal to s for sum and set this equal to p for product. So we get the following, s squared plus 2p equals 6, and s cubed minus 3ps equals 14. Now this is a really easy system to solve. You can do a, quite a few different things, like you can isolate p from the second, first I mean, the third or whatever. You can, um, the top equation, you can isolate the p and plug it into the second one. You're gonna get a cubic, so on and so forth. But I'm gonna do the following, multiply both sides by s, and then subtract these equations, all right? When you subtract these equations, you're going to get the following. If you subtract them, you're going to get ps equals 6x minus 14. And from here, you can isolate p as 6x minus 14 over s. Great. Now we can go ahead and plug this into one of the equations. Guess which one? The first one, right? Not the cubic one. Okay, so you want to go ahead and plug it in here, simplify, so on and so forth, and you're going to end up with the following. Let me give you the resulting equation from here. S cubed minus 18S plus 28 equals 0. And guess what? This shouldn't be too hard to guess. S equals 2 appears as a rational solution. And after some polynomial division, you're going to get S minus 2 times s squared plus 2s minus 14 equals 0. From here, s becomes 2. You already knew that. And the other equation gives us s equals negative 1 plus minus root 15. Uh-huh. That explains the square root of 15. That pops up. If s is equal to 2, then we get 4 minus 2p equals 6, which means p is equal to negative 1. So you're kind of thinking the two numbers whose sum is 2 and whose product is negative 1. And by using Vieta's formulas, you can produce a quadratic that satisfies this and the roots are going to be 1 minus root 2 and 1 plus root 2. And I'm going to call these x and y because those are x and y values. And obviously they are interchangeable. That explains the x values that we found with Wolfram Alpha as 1 minus root 2 and 1 plus root 2. And the root 15 obviously is going to show up and the radical, the complex solutions are going to be the result of the remaining quadratic after doing all these polynomial divisions. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment. Like and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.